everyone's been to airports and it's not that exciting but I have something very special to me to show you in this airport okay so this is a mick croquette some of you guys have seen me talk about it on my Instagram on my other visits here in Amsterdam and it's so good a croquette is one of the basic Dutch foods and the McDonald's in the Netherlands puts it in a sandwich it's so good you can only get them in the Netherlands I'm probably gonna have three while I'm here over the next four days I'm very excited if you ever come to the Netherlands go to McDonald's and get a Mech croquette for those of you who don't know I'm actually from the Netherlands and so it's super special to me to be back here in Amsterdam for a few days um, a lot of people who are born in the U.S. and live in the U.S. get to go back to their hometowns and visit their roots and um, just have kind of that validation of self of going back to where they're from. And I don't get to do that super easily because I live in America and I'm from the Netherlands. So I love being here. I'm super excited. Um, we're going to be in Amsterdam for, for a few days and then spend time with my family here in the Netherlands. It's going to be awesome. Sure, I've been waiting for you. Amsterdam. Today hasn't really gone as planned to be honest. Sometimes vlogs um, are super fun and inspiring um, and sometimes they're just really honest. Today has not been that much fun. Um, I got in later than I thought and um, our room wasn't ready which is not a huge deal but the worst thing is that I lost a nail today. Oh I didn't mean to do that but I lost a nail today um, and anything with nails or like specifically skin under nails really freaks me out and so I almost fainted in the airport today um, and just because my nail almost actually half of my nail came off and so I almost fainted right in the middle of the airport today that was not fun so I'm trying to turn the day around I'm out walking around in Amsterdam down the streets that my family and I used to walk down together um, and yeah so I'm hoping to kind of turn this day around. Update, I think things are getting a little bit better. Um, I got t a ticket, one ticket, for the Romantic Night Lights Canal Cruise uh, tonight. Um, one ticket, party one. Oh, also got these really cool uh, gloves here. Very, very trendy, um, since I will be on a boat on the canal. And it's getting increasingly colder, and my gloves are in my room. But we're turning it around. So far from where we started from. But everywhere with you is a This is another really popular thing in the Netherlands, Fabo. Um, it's basically food in these little lockers um, along the wall. And um, a lot of it is kind of like this croquette that I talked about I had at McDonald's earlier. Um, really gross, but really good. A classic. Just got done with the night boat canal tour and it was really fun and really pretty. Now it's time to take a shower, watch some Dutch TV, and go to bed. We just got done with brunch. We went to Punk which is um, a cute little brunch spot. Um, I got pancakes and a pressed juice and my brother got a um, like an avocado chicken sandwich with egg and an Americano. So it was really, really perfect brunch spot. Um, it's in the neighborhood Negestraat, which just means nine streets. There's six streets and three canals that create a little grid. It's a really cute neighborhood full of shopping and cute places to eat. And now we are going to the museum district um, there's just lots of cute and touristy things to do around there and close to to get 
trendy neighborhood called De Pipe, which just means the pipe. I don't really know why it's called that, um, but it's a really cool area. Um, it has lots of street art, like this really trendy in America mural. It says, wake me when I'm famous. Everyone comes and takes pictures in front of it. Um, there's construction going on right now, but it's a really cool area for like um, eating and drinking. Um, and shopping, it's just a lot of fun artsy stuff here. I'm in the Royal Square right now, um, the Royal Palace Square, and the bells are going off. It's one of my favorite sounds ever. Oh, I think they just stopped. And um, yeah, this is behind me, one of the Royal Palaces in the Netherlands, and it's absolutely beautiful. So another thing happened while in Amsterdam. Um, I had my phone stolen right out of my pocket. I have these really like um, kind of like shallow and cut straight across pockets and someone just took my phone out of it. I had my hands raised while I was getting some footage above my head with my DSLR and I'm like 90% sure someone just took it out of my phone because I looked around everywhere where I walked since I last on my phone. It did not fall out, it was not anywhere on the street, and I would have heard it, and so, yeah, this has been super, super fun, but it's one of the aspects of traveling. Sometimes traveling is super fun, and super inspiring, and eye-opening, and sometimes things happen when you're traveling that just suck, and this sucks a lot, um, but that's a part of what you sign up for when you travel a lot. I am excited though because tomorrow we're going to where my family lives in the Netherlands and um, we're staying with my uncle and going to see all my cousins and my family and I am very excited for that. After all the craziness that's happened the last couple days between losing my fingernail to losing my phone, I'm very excited to just be in my hometown and rest and be